Hello and welcome to a new episode of Train Simulator 2020. And today we're going to be tackling the Brighton Main Line, where we're going to be taking a Southern Class 377 from Brighton to London, Victoria. As you can see, this is one that I've uh, done in the past. I've got a Silver Star, so vaguely competent in what I'm doing. Uh, but before I continue, a uh, big shout out to uh, John Tulock for uh, donating to the channel. It's greatly appreciated. And uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, you can do by donating to the PayPal link found down below. Any and all funds that go into that go immediately back into the channel to help better create this content for not only for this, but for other projects I have in the pipeline. If you have any routes or trains you want to see me drive, then please do let me know and I'll see what I can do. Uh, just bear in mind, I haven't got access to uh, some, well, the Welsh routes. Uh, I haven't got access to them because by the time I came around to getting a few more bits of content for this game, Dovetail Games uh, ceased supporting the Welsh packs. Anyway, good morning, driver. Today you'll be running a semi fast service from Brighton to Victoria. You'll be making several stops on the way. Make sure you don't miss any of them. Certainly. Okay. Headlights. Thank you. Okay, doors are open. Jobs are good. Let's just put that on. Everything else is fine and dandy. Passengers aboard of the train, you're now ready to depart for Hassocks. Excellent. Okay. So we have 377129 and 377153 as our chariots for say. In fact, it isn't. It's a, it's a 12 car train. Okay. 12 car train we are running, so we're going to have to uh, stick to that. So when it comes to us uh, stopping at the next appropriate station, I have to try and work, ascertain who is who. So Hassocks is in 6.7 miles. So what I need to do is just ensure that I get the train stopped perfectly along the entire length of the station. speeding there. I'll try and keep it so uh, I'm not speeding as much as I normally would. That is my plan anyway. So what we're gonna do. We are going to zip up here. To Preston Park. And just let us roll past.
90 mile per hour limit coming up if I can uh, put my teeth back in. Julian has six in plenty of time. Four car 377 passing by us now. Stop in the old Cabarone. That's the lights, headlights, all is well. Shoes down. Well, I've already got the shoes down, so uh, not to worry. Pantograph up. Pretty good fits. I've not got a pantograph to worry about in this, so I'm not too concerned with that one, to be perfectly honest with you. It's a bit bumpy in here. No one to be seen. Doing in about three minutes' time. There's the 90 limit. There we go. When we come to a station, uh, when we come to a stop at uh, Essex, I'll then find out who is in the middle of our little formation. I don't know why I was... <laughs> yeah, just stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down, you know. Whoops, wrong thing. In fact, the more we get closer, so we're getting in more towards being on time. Oh, I, I can live with that. Okay, we're approaching Hassock, so with about a mile or so to go, I'll, uh, I'll start slowing down. With the amount of braking I've applied, should be okay. You can always uh, always release it and just coast in if absolutely necessary, but uh, I'm confident that I should be okay. Now, I don't actually know if this platform was built to accommodate 12 car trains, but I'm going to get my train to stop at the, uh, the top end of the station anyway, and we'll just go from there. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna hop out. So it was 129 leading. As soon as we've got plenty of time, we're just gonna uh, have a gentle wander down. And then find 137 in the middle. And then just to refresh everyone's memory, even though it is in the title, on the rear is 377153. And what we also do is go down and find out how we're doing. Yep, we're comfortably in, so uh, I will happily take that. So what we're going to do, we're going to charge back at the front as we have another load coming in, but it's not stopping, it's just a pair. 
on the rear of that was 377134. And we are going to go up here and catch this service departing into the distance. That will do. Doors are shut, lights are off. Away she goes. Okay, so Burgess Hill in uh, 1.7 miles. <coughs> cool, yeah. You can see how wobbly we're going, and to be fair, this line is actually, it's uh, its quite a bouncy route to go on. But I took a train from uh, Gatwick to Brighton last year, and uh, it is incredibly bumpy. Okay, and as things stand, we're due into Burgess Hill uh, on time. Slowing down just enough. So we're still good on time, so we should be able just to roll into the station without too much of a problem. So we will do. Just going to release the brakes once we get the, the nose of the train platform I'll then start slowing down again okay now it looks like we're doing bang on the money if I get this uh, spot on okay fractionally late but uh, looks like I slowed down a bit too soon really I should have slowed down a bit later so I wasn't carrying as much speed as, as previously so it's all about momentum and see now because of that I'm uh, now running six probably end up gonna be ten or so seconds late realistically as a result of all this. And now about 10 seconds late, which ultimately isn't too bad. I can afford 10 seconds, so let's just ensure that we've, uh, let's just zoom out a bit. Let's make sure that we've stopped well within the station. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's a tight fit. Very tight fit. What doors have opened? Interesting. It's only the uh, first three carriages. So you lot aren't getting on. Well, you know, I, there's not much I can do about that one, I'm afraid. We'll just have to sit there and wait. Good lord. Do, wait. Hmm. Stations for the ghosts. So what we're going to do, we are going to sit, thank you, we're going to sit here, all is well, about 62% throttle, gives us enough uh, just to pull away gently, and then once we've got a decent enough speed, I'll then uh, put the notch into full. There we go. Start picking up speed so we can uh, maintain the timetable. As the next station stop will be Haywards Heath in just over three and a half miles.
<laughs> yeah. I don't think that's going to do much good um, coming through a station at speed, but, you know, the intent was there. In fact, have we got a viaduct coming up? Oh, we, ah, well, there is a viaduct at some stage, but there's a nice little bridge here. So let's go and sit just about here. Definitely breaking the rules in terms of uh, where I should and shouldn't be standing for that particular one, but it's fine. Alright. Just bring that speed or the app that bit down. Let's find out who we have here. 377108. Along with, I think, 377. Oh, 37303. Open that up again. Uh, due in on time. There's Hayward Teeth. Hayward Teeth Platform 3. Okay, so it was a mile out when I just started slowing down, so we should be okay. Should be carrying a bit more momentum than previously. Wow, where it is, it's bumpy in here. And looks like we're but we're due in on the money. Again, I probably may actually be able to start braking just a fraction later than I do. Maybe 0.7 of a mile out is when I can start braking. Because I know I've got a lot more force in the brakes to play with than I currently do. I mean, I'm coming in with the least amount of braking possible. Okay, so just, I think it was, a, what, another 10, so, 10 or so seconds. So let's just nip to the back, and, yeah, we're, we're just in there. I think, where's the actual board in relation for us stopping? Okay, so we, are, we can stop just uh, a little bit further. It just means that uh, the first door won't open on the train. But uh, basically, we're, we're, we're okay for the time being. We're, we're not bad. So... We are going to get to about this height, wait for the train to depart, and uh, we'll get some more depart departing shots. Okay, doors are shut. It's still about 62% again. Okay, so let's hop on the outside view again. Next station stop is three bridges in just over eight miles. And then after that, I suspect we'll be uh, calling a Gatwick Airport. I can't imagine we're going to be flying through there. Pardon the pun. Mind you, I thought it was quite clever, but there we are. That's just my humour. 
very dry. I suppose, really, even though it doesn't count towards us, you're skipping out of those pistol boards. Because I've only, I've only seen one so far, and it was into that bridge. So she'll keep a weather eye out. Let's just hop to this side and explore the line. And the birds are chirping, which is always good to see. Oh, here. Here comes the bridge in question. We are going to go about... We'll go about there, shall we? Three seven seven passing by. Three seven seven four fourteen. Now we got uh, just over five and a half miles to go before we hit three bridges. So, seeing as uh, I know what the brakes are like on this, just at 30% and well, 34%, and it will craw crawl into the station quite happily, I might give it to 0.7 of a mile away from the station before we start braking again, because I know I can apply a bit more pressure on the brakes, and we might be able to come in uh, either bang on time or just before. I've got four and a half, well, just over four and a half miles to go. It's mile an hour coming up in just over a mile and a half. Okay, that's not for us, so we haven't got to worry. Uh, we're still due in uh, comfortably on time. Just up the speed a little bit more. I believe the AC limit is actually within the tunnel itself. All we'll do is we'll start slowing down once we get past this signal. That'll give us enough time to, uh, to play with. Okay, there's the AC limit. Just outside the tunnel. Immediately followed by a 90 once we round this bend. And our train is doing the old uh, Arnhem shake as we're going along. Okay, just over two miles to go before we hit three bridges. Okay, we've got another 377 here. And I couldn't tell you. It's a pair though, that, that much I can tell you. Okay, what we're going to do, we are going to go back up to this end. We're going to give it to 0.7 of a mile. And then we're going to start slowing down and see what we can do. So I reckon with 0.7 of a mile to go, we can start slowing down and we'll stop in uh, sufficient time without having to be overly heavy on the brakes. Okay, okay. let's do it at 34%. 
Once we get to about 0.3 of a mile, I'm then going to bring the brakes down even further to the next stage. Them again, and it looks like 0.7 of a mile is actually the uh, the ideal. You're just playing with the brakes. I'll just release it again. So we're due in plenty on time. Okay, so fractionally over, let's see how we're doing at the back. Actually had plenty of room. So how would that have looked, how that have shaped up at the other platforms? Actually, I tell you, when you consider that to the length of the other platforms there, that's actually, uh, it's not bad going. But uh, no, I shall, I shall take that. I probably could have just done a bit more braking uh, towards the middle end of the uh, of, of the station. That's not it's not too bad. So we have plenty of time to play with anyway. So we weren't uh, running to an overly tight schedule. So what we are going to do? We're going to go here. No. We're going to go. Actually, tell what we're going to do. We are going to go up here. We're going to go aloft the sickle cat tree. Pretend like we're doing some work and uh, get a bird's eye view as to parting. Is there someone in the distance? I oh, know, it's just a load of green lights. There we go. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Okay, do about 40% this time round. Okay, get out of in just under two and a half miles. Let's just get this side to see if we can't catch the numbers of this 377. Jubin to Galbrick in plenty of time. Oh, no, can't see that one. What? Okay, let's. 427 is on the rear, so it may be another 4 series that was at the front. What we are going to do, we're just going to sit this side. Under 2 miles to go before we hit Gap Airport. I think it's yard there. When I came through, uh, when I went to Brighton last year, there wasn't... Uh, well, there, was, there was a couple of hoppers sat outside, but certainly no locos. So, same MO as before, 0.7 of a mile out, we're going to we'll then start slowing down. And we'll try and get the entire train to the platform quite comfortably.
Okay, let's see what we can do. Should have slowed down just a little bit quicker, but again, I'll tell you what, even again, smashing coming in as I was, it's, yeah, it's, it's all right. So 0.7 of a mile works. You can see why I got silver for this last time around because uh, I was, I was ho hoofing around. But 0.7 of a mile works, and then, hello, and then, um, Maybe what you want to do at, at 0.2 of a mile, probably uh, bring that brake down a, a lot foot further. If I want to put it to 80, about well, really, as I got the the, the second uh, load in, then I would have actually stopped. I reckon in plenty of time, but we should we'll, we'll, we'll be okay. It'll be fine. Put it this way, you'd be disappointed if I didn't overshoot a couple of platforms. Well, I must say it's a long old way. We actually did, we did get here quite early, so uh, you know. Understandable. It's a very quiet Gatwick Airport. I'm not going to show you it. It's never normally this quiet. It's always uh, it's always a bit hectic. Okay, we're not even going to be uh, just be off. Shut up. I'm not going to say what I was about to say because I'll, I'll just get ridiculed. Not that I'm not going to get ridiculed already for my uh, method of driving. We've got East Croydon in 16.2 miles. up here and uh, what is the name of this fine establishment have you even got some name must have a name oh, I don't know let's go this side let's go underneath the uh, underneath the main station bit actually see that uh, the line starts increasing up there. You don't have to actually even look at uh, look at the HUD down there. You can see the line starts climbing uphill. So we've got another 377 heading down.
Just uh, take my head off. Casual, you know. I'm not worried about it. It's it's replaceable. waiting for those really irritating speed changes to come into effect. So that's just going to, uh, no, just to say that there's an 80 limit coming up. I hardly call that annoying. I must admit, I was waiting for it to suddenly, you know, drop to 30. But alas, it is not. That's fine by me. I can work with an 80 limit immediately followed by a 90. Let's uh, do a different view, shall we? We can uh, look at the roundabout. There's the board warning us of the 80 limit coming up. See, so we've got disused platforms. I always love that about some of these modern railway stations. They still have uh, some of the old station architecture there. That's fantastic. As you can see, quite a steep drop we have here. There's another 377. over ten and a half miles to go before we roll into East Croydon. So that'll be another chance for me to uh, try out my 0.7 of a mile theory. I suspect in the real world that uh, the, the drivers have like, they, there's like a marker they probably look at on the line. It goes, right, if I pass this particular tree, this house, then that is my point where I can start braking. I'm, yeah, you know, obviously that they get trained and they know the route off by heart, but they must have little markers where they go, you know, if I pass this place, I know that I can do X amount of braking and this train will stop just by doing one or two notches of braking. They all have little tricks. I mean, they all, they all, all get taught a, a, a similar way and they get like roles and responsibilities and they all know how to drive their trains accordingly but they've all got little tricks everyone does everyone no matter what job you go into you will get taught the official way to do it and then you'll have your own method see it will still be done to the book you'll still do it safe controlled manner but you'll have your way of of doing it in particular Like you can see it with some of the train drivers around the UK in, in particular. You know the real seasoned ones, the ones that know what they're doing, so they can come thundering into a station. And you think, my God, they're not going to stop, are they? But they bring that train to a stop. And then you get other ones who are coming in much, much slower. But they, they all have little, uh, little tricks. I imagine for my American viewers, it's probably a, a similar scenario over in the States. I mean, your the engineers must, uh, they all know the routes they're going on off by heart, and obviously they, they know the, the trains they're pulling, so the weight that's going to be behind them if it's a huge freight train. Even the commuter trains, some of them have got a decent length to them. And they will probably know that um, they, can, they can come to a safe, controlled stop much sooner than you would traditionally think.
uh, for six and a half miles to go before we roll into Croydon. And bizarrely, we're actually doing five seconds late. Mind you, I'm, I'm not doing the um, the maximum permitted speed, but uh, the way this train is rocking and rolling, I'm quite happy just to keep it as it is, to be fair. Another 377 down there. There's another line there, so plenty of lines start converging. Another 377 up in the distance. Just uh, over four miles to go before we hit Croydon. Bizarrely, I can hear flange. That might be why, because there's another 377 there just rounding the bend. So, we're going to rock up here. There we go, lovely job. Okay, 60 mile per hour limit coming up. Plenty of time to start slowing down, so I'm not too concerned at this stage. And after all that, we still haven't really made up much time. Gotta let people know you're coming through. Okay, half mile to go, then we hit the 50 limit, so sorry, the 45 limit even, you Wally. I know I said 50 because it was half a mile, which is you know. I know why I said it. We're still due into East Croydon uh, late. Really, there's not... I can't that really make up any time, to be fair. I've got to stick to the speed limit set to me, so... Uh, if I'm going to be late, I'm going to be late in, but... No, I, there is nothing I can do about that. Another 377 there, a couple of London buses. 
East Croydon, if you haven't been, is an amazing station to film at. Highly, highly recommend it. Just let the station staff know what you're going to be doing, and uh, you'll be absolutely fine. Okay, that'll do. That southern service is now departing. Let's go to the back and see how we're doing. Yep, we're good. So what we'll do, we'll just go back up here. Just wanting to see how that um, other southern train uh, will, will be coming in whilst I'm here. I'd be very surprised if it doesn't. Okay, so 40% will do for the initial pull away. There's no sense in giving it full throttle because we've got uh, speed limits to adhere to anyway. This is up to 60, just to give it a bit more juice. Okay, Clapham Junction is 7.6 miles. Okay, what we'll do, we'll hop back outside for a little detailed view. Selhurst Depot. Stop the speed as we are. Uh Working our way through London suburbs. Three seven seven one four four leading. Three seven seven four four five trailing. Okay. Be interesting to see what's going to greet us when we get to Victoria. Sixty limit coming up. Just over a mile and a half from now. Due in Clapham Junction, still on time.
Oh, hello. Here's another one. No chance. Might be able to get on the uh, spin around. No, no, I was a bit too, a bit too wild with that one then. Let's just do that for one again. Pop out of the outside view. So we're chasing a 377 as well. Might be able to get the number for this one for you, 377203. So far, all the lights are in our favour. Steady cruising down the line so far. 3.3 miles until we get to Clapham Junction. Passing through about a million different signal blocks. Some within severe close proximity to one another. Nope, don't want to look at that view. That's a pretty good lean angle we've got going on there. Who knew that the 377 was the next tilting train? Okay, next little station for us to go and have a cheeky butcher's at. Let's go, let's go here. And where is this? Ever so slightly flanged there, coming through uh, Baldham. Okay, Clapham Junction in 1.6 miles. Ignore the fact it says 1.7, that's just the actual platform end. Another 3.77. Slowing down, so we've got enough time to do a cheeky little pan around. Three seven seven two zero one. And we're still due in on time, so we're okay for the moment. And because of the speed, I'm not going to I'm not going to slow down at the seven mile mark. I'll probably slow down at the half mile mark. Half a mile should be okay. The Southwest Trains Class 450.
you know, the Southern 377 coming in, but I can't really uh, afford to do a cheeky little lean out the window, so I want to try and ensure that I can stop in plenty of time. I'll take that, because in theory, yep, you're perfectly in, because we've got a Southwest Trains Class 450, as a pair of 450, so what we're going to do, we're going to go down here, we've got 450.023, and 450.101. That's now off to some far and distant land. Okay. Doors are shut. Still about sixty percent. And head out to London, Victoria. There's the 450 from earlier. We're having a race with 450.097. There's a 377 and another pair of 450s coming in. Looks like we're still doing okay. Just watch that speed. There go the 450s, there goes the 377. How's that other 450 doing? Looks like we're matching speed, so I think we're good. In fact, if we time this right, we could end up uh, passing over it. There's a 450 leaving the uh, station underneath. There goes the 450. Excellent. It was Queenstown Road, Battersea. It was just there. And there is the power station. Why do I have a horrible feeling that that is not for me? <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> that could have been awkward. Oh, dear. That's for me, however. Okay, it's just changed. So, looks like we're going to have a clear run into Victoria. Any southeastern services chasing us? Nope. It's a 377 coming out.
just snaking across. Okay. We're going to want to get as close to the buffers as possible to ensure we can get the entire train in there, so... Uh... Just release that. There we go. That will do nicely. Okay, that will... Uh... That will do, so let's, whoops, let's fathom out where I am before I do anything else. No, let's not do that. Let's just, just, would you please? So you can see we're in quite comfortably. There's a southeastern service to passing there, so let's, uh, let's go find out who this is. Three seven five seven three two. Bound for Orpington. Excellent. Tell you what we're gonna do. Let's um let's sit. Let's go there. And let's uh let's do that. Let's hop in this cab. We can uh, have a cheeky butchers and see what's happening. Okay, you have successfully completed the journey between Brighton and London. Well done. Thank you kindly. Well, I think all told that wasn't too bad. Gold star for that one. All in all, wasn't too bad at all. On time at uh, all the stations, basically. Uh, speeding in a few a few areas, but uh, that was just more of a lack of concentration when uh, looking at other things. Uh, accuracy at some of the stations. I think two of them, well, definitely two of them were out. But the others were all well and good. So I shall, uh, shall happily take that. No problem. The uh, the next one that we're going to do is going to be on the uh, the East Coast Main Line. And we're going to be taking a uh, HST back to Bounds Green. I've done this scenario and as you can see only a tick so I actually failed it. But uh, what it is, we're starting in Peterborough. We're running down to London King's Cross. We're then taking the train back from King's Cross into Bounds Green Depot. It's uh, it's good fun to do. It's a good little scenario, that one. So that's what I'm doing next. But if you have any uh, route suggestions or uh, trains you want to see me drive, then please do let me know, and I will see what I can do for you. So, until next time, I shall see you later. Take care, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>